Okay, so a shortcut's kind of biting me in the butt right now. I was certain of a head gasket failure, so I did not compression test before I started this, and now I've dropped the intake manifold, and I'm seeing some uh, interesting developments. Uh, from coolant passage to number one cylinder intake, I'm seeing indication of fluid transfer. See it there? It's kind of wet. Uh, coming back here, kind of the same thing. In fact, the gasket mating surface is wet. And going to the EGR valve um, a bit there as well. Now, this isn't the guaranteed point of my water intrusion into the engine, but it would explain why I, why I had wet intake runners as they would fill with steam when uh, the engine was shut down when hot. Um, this is kind of backed up by what I'm seeing here. So again, uh, focus camera. Uh, coolant passage, very wet underneath. Coolant was drained out of this before I started. And you can see how it's very wet there at that corner. Going same thing over here. Uh, for those who've been following for a while, uh, you may remember that the power steering pump brackets, there's my power steering pump. That bolt was loose. Uh, this bolt kind of remained and the other bolts just fell out. Uh, the truck had been over a lot of like uh, really harsh roads, mostly in Africa, um, a lot of washboarding, a lot of things got vibrated and I've had it on my list for quite some time that I needed to go through and just tighten down every bolt I could put my hand on. Um, in fact, some of these are looking like I should do that right now. Um, I've been putting that off due to a lack of time and I think that is what bit me in the butt. So had I compression checked this, I probably could have figured out if this was my issue. Since I didn't, I'm going to go forward with the head gasket change. So almost there, take the headers off and then it'll be valve train and head bolts. All right, wish me luck.